Welcome back to Kentucky Sports Television. We're out here at Buffalo Wild Wings in Louisville, hanging out with the people from the ESPN College Game Day bus behind me. It's on tour tonight. It'll actually be arriving uh, over at Rupp Arena. You can go check out, take a tour of the bus. It is very cold. It's raining. And Leslie Neely is not a good teammate. She's abandoned me. I'm out here alone in the cold. She's in the back of the bus, hanging out with former cat Derek Anderson. Leslie, take it away. We're on the College Game Day bus with Derek Anderson. Now, Derek, I want to go ahead and ask you, you're releasing a new book called Stamina. Could you tell us a little bit about that and how that uh, procedure is going with releasing the book and kind of like a little media tour with it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I just want to basically make sure I help and motivate some of these kids and some people in life. You know, if you don't quit in life, you'll be able to be successful. I went through a tough childhood, but I wanted to make it with help of other people, teachers and family and friends. So. It was just a motivating thing. I wanted to help people out, and now that I'm on game day, I just want to get it out to the crowd and colleges and everyone else to, to keep going forward and hopefully support each other. Now, why should Kentucky fans buy this book other than you're one of the fan <laughs> favorites of all time? Well, I think it'll help everyone, you know, not just kids, but it'll help everyone understand the situations. We've all gone through problems in our life, but the one thing that I found out, if I don't give up, I can still win. And what stamina means is just don't run out of breath before you win. And now that I think everyone sees the message and gets the point, I think a lot of people will be inspired by this. And I hope my message lasts longer than I do. Now, one guy that you've been pitching this message to recently was Nerlens Noel. You were very quick to go down there, talk to him. What exactly did you tell him? Well, I knew it was a mental problem that you know you face when you first get injured. And his thing was to making sure somebody actually cared. It's one thing to have people say we're here for you, but a person in my stature who's been through the same injury would know how to get him back. And I told him I would be there for him, and hopefully it encourages him. And he was he was receptive. He was very positive, and uh, and I look forward to working with him. As soon as he's done out of surgery, I'll be there and get him to working out so he can be another Kentucky great. I think, I think that's one thing that's very interesting is you may be one of the only people that can relate to his situation <laughs> and you were there so quickly. What does that say to Kentucky fans that you all are really like a family? We are and the fans are a part of that. Like the fans support me even to this day. I've graduated 16 years ago and they still support me. And that's what I need to show back and give my, my tribute back to my college, my teammate and our fans. And that's what we have to do as a family. And, and it's an honored to be a part of this actually. And to be chosen for that, you really support Kentucky all the time. And it's just something I believe in myself not even so much as just trying to prove anything it's just making sure that I do the right thing as a person and that was the right thing to do to help him out in that situation now this team has had a few bumps in the road this season with Nerland's injury the Tennessee loss by 30 points they did bounce back against Vanderbilt last night and had a really good game do you think they're NCAA bound yeah, we absolutely that way. I mean, we just going through bumps and uh, bruises just like anybody else. Some guys, like I think Louisville lost like three in a row. You know, so people lose, and we're a young team, and we're just as dangerous as anyone else when you only have one game to win in a tournament. We just want to make sure we finish out and play hard and play strong and not worry about the stresses of anything else. Our fans have been there all year long, so so long as they keep supporting us, we'll win. Now, you did talk to Nerlens. Did you talk to the rest of the team, and what was the message that you gave them? Yeah, I talked to them, and I told them the only difference in winning championships is being a brotherhood and your effort. No one can stop that at all except yourself. And I told him to live in that moment. You know, if you live like that, like me and my 96 team, we're getting back together again because we love love what we did for each other and we're brothers. And that's why we were so successful on and off the court. And that's what I told them guys. They need to love each other like they're brothers and die with them on that court. And I, I gave them a message. And they received it. The next day they went out and played well and played hard. But they're young, so they're up and down. But maybe I'll just need to speak to them before every game. <laughs> <laughs> You're that motivational leader they right, need, right, that, that right, stamina right. they need to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll, Thank, I'll do that. Thanks, Derek. Really appreciate talking no to you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Leslie. And as you can see, Leslie's now joined me out here in the – no, she hasn't. Leslie's still on the bus, and she's talked with the game day bus driver. who tr He takes us everywhere. He's the kind of the guy in charge, obviously. Goes all over the country, has some cool stories. Leslie, take us back inside the warm. Now, we're still on the game day bus, and we found the guy – that literally drives the whole operation. We're with Bobby. He's been driving the college game day bus for 12 years. What's it like driving the bus all across the country? Well, this is a real wonderful experience. I enjoy my job. I enjoy people. And I get to travel across country and uh, attend some fabulous games and just meet some wonderful folks from coast to coast. And it's, it's really been a real thrill. Now, you've stopped in quite a few places over your 12 years. Do you have a favorite? Well, since I like to fish, whenever we go on football to Eugene, Oregon, I have buddies out there that always hook me up with fishing. And uh, I enjoy Austin, Texas. And uh, also, well, all the colleges are neat because each one has a, the difference about the school. There's always something new to see. So I really don't have a, a personal preference, but I guess Eugene would be as far as fishing. 
Now I was talking to our new little friend Madison, our fifth grader, and she told me I need to ask you why you're interested in this job. What keeps you coming back year after year? The people. The no. people and the fans. Now, do you have any funny stories from the game day bus in particular? Anything funny that's happened? On well, you? well, I, I used to say that I didn't have any funny stories until this past football season. And we were coming from uh, Eugene, Oregon, uh, down to USC in Los Angeles. And I was coming down this long mountain in Northern California. And the state trooper pulled me over. And uh, when I, I got out, I said, well, I wasn't speeding, was I? He says, well, you were a little fast. And I said, well, what fits, how fast was I going? He said, well, 60 miles an hour. I said, well, what's the speed limit? He said, 65. I said, so I wasn't speeding. I said, I know. You want to see the game day bus. <laughs> he says, yeah. <laughs> so you probably got out a lot of tickets that way. Just people want to stop and All see the bus one. just All once. One. All right. Well, thanks, Bobby. Really appreciate thank you talking you. to us. Thank and you very much. Safe driving throughout thank the rest you. of the season. Keep watching game day. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Leslie. It sure looks warm and toasty in there. Uh, out here it is still cold, but we're going to take a break. Coming up after the break, we're going to hear from Radio Ron Chilton and also going to break down more of the game coming up on Saturday. This is KSTV, and we'll be back right after this. Check your forecast on CN2.